Hello there and welcome to this video where we're looking at some of the basics in Photoshop and what we're going to be looking at today is combining the work that you've looked at the previous two videos to then create something a little bit more effective and cutting edge. So if you've watched the previous two videos you'll be aware of how we've used layer styles to edit the text on this image and how we've added a gradient here and use filter effects. What we're going to do now is combine everything and the area of the screen we really need to be looking at is down here in the bottom right hand corner where it says layers. At the moment all it says is background and that's what we're going to be looking at. First of all I'm going to add a suitably lovely looking filter. Um, today we are going to go for a nice little rainbow because hopefully soon it will stop raining and we'll see one of these lovely things. So you can see here that on the background layer little white area here has changed to a little bit of a gradient and all I'm going to do now before I forget is add my filter onto it and now what I'm going to do is add some text. Watch what happens down here. I'm going to add some horizontal text and I'm just going to write down here, rainbows are awesome. So you can see at the moment that we've got a little T in a box next to the layer one. And then when I click off of it, we've got the text here. This, these are layers. Every time you use a layer in Photoshop, it's only looking at that specific area. So if I hide the background layer, all we're going to see is rainbows are awesome. And then if we hide the text layer, we can see that that goes. If I move the text layer, I'm only moving that layer, I'm not moving the background. So if I had another bit of text which says, so are unicorns, again you can see I've got my own layer here for so are unicorns and if I move so are unicorns, the rainbows are awesome, are staying in the same place until I move them. So all I'm going to do quickly is add some layer styles onto these two pieces of text and all I'm really going to do is put a drop shadow on them and again I'm going to go blending options and I'm going to pop a drop shadow on them. At the moment you can see that we can't read some of this text because of the green font and the green background. So we've got a couple of choices which are available to you. Making sure you've got the correct layer selected. Select the text you want to do and change the colour of that piece of text. That's one way of going about it. And then if we go to the Sarah Unicorns, if we move that into the green, so it's quite hard to see. Again, this is where layer styles really come into their own. Because what we can do is add different effects on them and see how they work. So if we straight away, if I add a stroke, we can see the Sarah Unicorns. Or if I add an inner shadow, we can see it. Or a glow, we're starting to be able to see it. Don't be afraid of when you click on these options, so for example, in a shadow, to change some of these values to make it look like what you want it to look like because it's all about creating something which you are proud of that you want to be happy with. So in this video we've been looking at layers over here, how layers are independent of each other, how we can use images and setting backgrounds and starting to use some of the more basic tools with a little bit more confidence and a little bit more ease. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in another video. See you later.